In this Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design a simple hipster logo in Photoshop. So, hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this super simple hipster logo here with Tronics Design, my YouTube name. Now, let's get right away into it. First of all, as you guys can see, again, I've got the background here on a separate group and then as well the design on a separate group as well. So we're going to start out right away with the background which I found again on graphicstock.com. Okay, I'm going to drag this all the way to the top and over here I'm going to write here background. So that's basically my background now and first step that I did is just played a little bit with some adjustment layers just to give this a bit of a unique different color than it is at the moment. I'm going to go to the adjustments here and simply go to the hue and saturation adjustment layer and with that I pulled up the saturations just a little bit like plus 9 plus 10 let's also have a look here I think I played also a little bit yeah with the lightness so taking that down a little bit but this is sometimes a process that I do at the end so maybe let's do it right away now so the lightness comes down a little bit minus 9 and that's just because the logo can stand out a little bit more obviously when you have a white logo you can also take the opacity down from the background and just have a black layer underneath like we do in every tutorial almost, but I wanted to show you guys a different approach this time. Okay, so that was the first step. Then as well what I wanted to do is right on top of that make it just a little bit of a faded effect here. So for that, again to adjustments and back to curves over here. I'm going to take this down a little bit so we can actually see things here. And in our curves palette here, I'm just going to put an anchor point right over here and then the black dark tones here, I'm just going to push them up a little bit and you guys can already see how this gets a little bit more faded here on the sides. We can push them up a little bit more. Yeah, and this also depends on your type of hipstery look that you want for the background. So if you don't want it too much, then stick with this. Okay, I'm going to take background, hold shift on the keyboard and I'm going to take the last two layers here and press Command G now to put everything together in one group. If you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. So for you now, Control G and you will also have a background group here. Okay, so that's my background now. So as you guys can see already here, maybe let me just show that quickly, the before and after, before and after. So just slightly faded and a little bit more saturated. Great, then on top of that I want to start right away out with the design. So I'm going to go to view, new guides and as usually going to create some 50% guides here. And if you are completely also new to this type of stuff, have a look on my main channel. I've created a more tutorials for all of the beginners who want to learn about guidelines and canvas and pen tool, all of that stuff. Okay, so for what I want to do now is first of all start out just with the main text. So this might be your brand name or your company name, whatever. So I'm going to go to the text tool over here, make a big selection so we don't need to fiddle around with that. And I'm going to first of all put the brand name in here, which will be now Tronix Design. Okay, and yeah, as you guys can see, I'm still not happy yet here with the font type. So we're going to change that first of all. Also, I typed everything now in capital letter, I think, so I have to redo that quickly. Okay, as you guys can see, I also do mistakes here. Okay, and again another mistake, but yeah, just correcting that. Okay, great. So we've got now Tronix Design. What I'm going to do is select all of it, and first of all, going to change the font. Now for that, I've already selected the font that I want to work with today, and it's called Bira Personal Use Only. So this is also a font that you're only allowed to use for your personal use. You can't use this for commercial stuff. Again, you guys can also find the font in the description down below. Now, first step that I want to do is actually put on leaning here, and as well I want to change the tracking. So as you guys can see on the right hand side here, I've got a character box. If you don't have that, please go to window and select character box over here. Okay, so first of all, set on leaning here. Then as well the tracking, I want to set that to maybe zero. Okay, hit zero on the keyboard. And as well, I want to change the size of this. So this I'm also going to do here from the top. You can also do it here again if you want to. Okay, and I'm going to go and take that up to maybe like a 60 or so. 61, yeah, 60, 38, that's fine. Okay, color also up here should be set to a white color. Okay, and okay, great. So I've got that ready. 
Now we've got Tronics Design here. We can put that somewhere in the center for the start. And already I see a big issue here, which is um, a little bit irritating for me. You guys can see that the X here also has this little ickle here from the E, which I actually want to remove. So right away, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to press Command J on my current layer here, Tronics Design. So Command J to duplicate that. And the reason why I duplicated it now is because the first one, I'm going to rasterize this layer. So just hit right click and go to rasterize type. So I can basically now work with it as a completely normal layer. I can erase things, paint on it, whatever I want to do with it. And the first layer here, I'm still going to keep this around. Maybe in case if I still want to change something or start from new again, then I still have this layer. So I'm going to turn it off, go back to Tronics Design, zoom in a little bit here. And now I'm going to take the pen tool and just cut this out a little bit. So again, P on the keyboard, selecting the pen tool. And first of all, I'm going to set an anchor point over here. Keep on holding the pen tool. Another one. And another one over here. 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 Yeah, and just continuing like that. And maybe I'm going to set one now over here. Keep on holding the pen tool. And trying to make a really cool path here. Also, if you guys are completely new to the pen tool, have a look again on the channel. I've created a few more tutorials here teaching you how to work with the pen tool if you knew and don't understand how to work with it. Okay, combining the whole path and finishing it up. Now, while I'm still in the pen tool, hit right click inside of the selection or inside of your path actually. And now you're going to set it to a selection. So now select make a selection. Okay, zero feathering there, please. Okay, and literally on our second layer now that we've copied, just hit delete or backspace here. Command D, get out of the selection again. And I'm going to press Z, zoom out a little bit. And you guys can see this looks a little bit better than before. So this is again the before and after. So that's also another technique how you guys can adjust your font a little bit and work a little bit with the font. Maybe also recreate it, rechange it. Again, both of these layers here, put them together in a group with Command G again. That's going to be the first step for just the text. So you can also write text main if you want and create some, uh, some more subgroups there. Now for the second step that I want to do is basically take the text tool again, make a big selection here. And I'm going to write my slogan in here. So which is now in capital letters all Photoshop tutorials. I'm going to select all of it with command A because you guys can't see it at the moment. It's way too big. So let's make it small over here and it looks right. Photoshop here, something in there. I don't know. Tutorials. Okay. And this font, I don't want to keep this font. I want to change it again. So go back to the fonts again. And we're going to work once again with Helvetica Neue over here. Now you guys can also find again the fonts in the description down below. Just have a look. Then also over here, the tracking, I want to switch this off first of all. I can see also a mistake here. There needs to be just a little ickle. So tutorials, Photoshop, I'm going to select all of it again. Change the color to white, which is still set to white. That's great. Again, over here, my size regular. Yeah, that's fine. And now I'm going to play a little bit with the text size. So what I'm going to do is just take it down a little bit. Somewhere around eight, nine pixels. Let's go for perfectly eight. So I'm going to type eight here on my keyboard and I want to play with the tracking a little bit. This I'm going to push up quite a lot, maybe like seven, eight hundred. Okay. Like, yeah, a, let's go for 800. Okay. I'm going to accept it and take the move tool and just literally move it down here. I'm also doing this quite quickly. You guys are welcome to use some guidelines if you want to. Yeah, just add a few more guidelines in here like I should do now. Okay, put that somewhere in the center as well. Tutorials, I'm just looking that it's evenly spaced and also balanced in my design overall. Next step that I'm gonna do is take again the text tool, select Photoshop tutorials, and now I'm just gonna make a quick duplicate of this with Command J. So again, selecting the layer, Command J, move that up again. And now what I'm going to do is just a few dots over here. So select all. I'm going to stick with the same dot size. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 dots. So you guys can see the tracking now is spaced pretty far. Let's set it back to 0 and accept it. Now you guys can see we've got these super cool 
let me just move it over here small little dots here that we've created super quickly just with the text okay I'm going to select it yeah, and just place it somewhere over here next to Photoshop tutorials I'm going to make a duplicate of this again with command J move that all the way over to this side and I'm also looking that they evenly space away from the text again great so that's the start ready just for Photoshop tutorials there next up that I want to do is zoom out a little bit and go to view clear maybe and I'm not going to clear the guides I'm just going to take one guide actually away here so I can just see that a little bit better now for my next step that I want to do is actually create a little bit of a symbol here at the top maybe you've got a small little icon that you have for your logo or your company and that I want to add here in the top so everything is now around revolving here around YouTube so I'm going to put in a YouTube um, icon that I've actually got from the web from just searching YouTube play button and it's still in here let me just grab it out you guys can see it over here so that's what I found and I literally just dragged it into Photoshop straight away from Google so as you guys can see it's pretty big and that's what the play button looked like okay next step first of all I want to change the color of this play button this I'm going to do via the layer styles here or actually layer options I'm going to double click on here and get to the layer styles um, go to color overlay and switch here the color overlay just to white color okay okay and now next step I'm going to transform this so with command T hold shift again select the anchor point here on the side and I'm literally just going to make it nice and small like super super small actually okay something like that I'm gonna accept it and move that over here maybe also in the center for the start great so I've already got my little play button there at the top next step that I want to do is also create some little arrows here a little bit so for that we're gonna work again this week with shapes super easy as normally I'm gonna create first of all a new empty layer down here and I'm also gonna sort things in a moment let's head over to the shape library here custom shape library and you guys can also see here well basically that was the tool sorry I'm confusing you guys custom shape tool and now we're gonna go to the shape library and you guys must most probably also have this shape it's already standard from Photoshop you guys can also use again these arrows here in the top I actually want to create my own arrow with this little guy over here so I'm going to select this guy hold shift on the keyboard so it's equally expanding and I want to try to make a really really small um, shape here so I'm going to zoom in a little bit with Z take again or press U on the keyboard again so you get back into the shape tool and now I'm going to make just a small selection over here maybe almost the same size as the play button great so we've got shape number one press on the move tool I'm gonna to move it over a little bit and now I'm just gonna make a few du duplicates of this so command J duplicating this and just with my cursors moving it over a bit and command J again again duplicating and move it over a little bit okay so that's all I'm gonna take rectangular marking tool I'm gonna to zoom in a little bit and make a small selection over here literally very small maybe let's make it a little bit longer so as you guys can see I'm also doing this super quickly and roughly take a bit more time when you do this and also a bit more slower inside of that selection hit right click say fill and fill it up with white now I'm going to press command D get out of the selection take the move tool with the V and just literally yeah move that here into the center so I've got that little arrow now I'm going to go and take a guideline down like this I'm going to take these layers here the sh shape layer from the arrow press command G and also put that first of all in a group and call that arrow okay I'm going to move this one over now so somewhere over here okay placing that with the cursors again and now I'm going to press command J and just duplicate this again command J go to edit transform and flip horizontally now just move it over to the other side so it's opposite okay and there we go great so we can also remove this guideline again now I want to process actually make this pro whole process again just for the bottom and just type in here YouTube so my first step again is maybe let's sort things quickly here we've got Photoshop tutorials that could be another text so I'm going to add my second text to that as well this is obviously totally um, up to you how you want to rearrange these groups here 
command G and I'm just going to write here dots. Okay, so what I want to do now is first of all go to the text group here, Photoshop tutorials, select it and just duplicate the layer again. So command J, duplicate that, move it all the way to the bottom and in here I'm going to write in my country name or city name or something small and easy that people can remember or know where it, or what it's about. So I'm going to write in YouTube, also please in capital letters. So it just looks a bit better with the top font here. YouTube tracking wise, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's have a look once we place everything together. I'm going to accept it and also take the move tool and just put it somewhere here again into the center. Okay, now I want to continue duplicating the arrows again. So let's go back to arrow one and arrow copy. Hold shift again on the keyboard to select both. Press Command J and you're copying both of these layers with one move. Now, with your move tool, simply place your arrows next to YouTube. Again, if you want to, call down another guideline and maybe zoom in a little bit. It always helps to zoom in. Okay, taking my guideline, position that a little bit down. Maybe let's switch off our arrows first of all. And again, switching on both arrows. First arrow that I'm going to take is this one. Just place it over here somewhere. And the second one over here. Let's do that somewhere. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to see if it's balanced and everything looks a little bit straight. Yep, maybe over a little bit. And yeah, that's the first step again. Great. So the next step that I want to do is simply copy dots again. So maybe let's switch all of these groups together with command G again. And this is our arrow group. Wow, super big. Okay, then as well, I'm going to go to dots, select dots copy maybe, command J, duplicate that layer and move it all the way down. Remember again, Windows guys, please always use control when I say command. Okay, so we've got 10 dots now. So I'm going to add, I think, another 10. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, another 10, so it's 20. Maybe another five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's nice and long. Great. I'm going to accept it. And first of all, press Command T just to rotate this a little bit. Just to try to make a little X there. Okay, accept it. Move it somewhere into the position. And as well, I'm going to just duplicate this layer once again. So Command J, we've got the same dots, but now we're just going to flip them horizontally. Back to edit, transform and flip horizontally. Okay, that was wrong. Vertically, transform, we're going to flip them vertically. Yeah, that's better. Okay, bring them all the way down and just with my cursor spacing them into the right position. Great, so we've got two dots here crossing over. And first of all, I'm going to go to view and clear the guides. Great, so now I'm going to play with the final step. It's actually done already, the tutorial, but this is what I do all the time I'm going to select these top dots here so these two layers hold shift on the keyboard again and I'm going to select Photoshop tutorials okay and I'm literally just going to move that all a little bit better for me into the center here I'm not looking too much at the P now more or less just at the ends here that that fits in a little bit you can also take Tronics design again a little bit obviously move that a bit play a little bit with the design still until everything is nicely balanced and you think it sits really nicely. Yeah, so that's basically it for this Photoshop design tutorial, guys. If you have any requests or wishes for future tutorials, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm always open for new stuff. Now, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with all your buddies, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.